Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. I am the Drunk Pokeru. Beer time, indeed. IPA Day. Classic OG IPA Day with the Drunk Pokeru has featured some of my most favorite and longest running IPAs uh, in Ontario. And I love that. I love that I gave myself an excuse to drink them because it's, it's something, you know, like I talked about in the Sawdust video where I don't always get around to them. Um, they get missed because there's just so much new that comes out and returning stuff and I want to get to it all. So in that vein, Bone Shaker from Amsterdam Brewing. I drank a few glasses of this last week at the Toronto Festival of Beer thanks to our good friends at uh, Amsterdam for the tickets. Uh, couldn't miss a chance to have this 7.1% 80 IBU hop monster in my glass. This is over the top hops as they say unapologetic West Coast style, American style IPA, copper pour, thick off white head. This is legit. Oh. oh. Even friggin' like the head, it's just like pine, man. Oh God. See, sometimes you get too excited. Um, the key on IPA day has been water in between so you have a beer you have a couple glasses of water that way you're taking your time you're, you're definitely enjoying the beers you're not going too much um making dinner now so you know gotta have a beer while you make dinner while you're barbecuing the sun has come back out it's an absolutely beautiful day grapefruit orange you're getting some of that toasty malt out coming out too cheers to amsterdam for making damn good beer for a hell of a long time cheers Oh, this is a a big, multi boozy bastard, and it's great. I mean, it's 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 bordering on imperial IPA um, when you're getting into fracture territory. And boy, I can't wait till that comes back because that is one of my favorite imperial IPAs. But um, a beautiful, bready toasted biscuit malt, uh, bready toasted malt body. Um, it's got a bit of thickness to it. It feels that way, anyways, to me. Um, definitely, there is a grapefruit, orange, bitter citrus rind peel there and then the resinous piney back end which is absolutely delightful it's a beautiful bloody beer but it's certainly not for the faint of heart it, it really was the beer that i trained my palate on by eating um different types of citrus to try and see if i could identify things so it was really uh, this and the other beers we're talking about were the beers that i learned about hops on and you know, then I was able to expand my palate, which is what a lot of us have done. So it's good to go back and look at them and see how you perceive them now. When I first started trying this one back in 2000, I think it was 15, I just, I couldn't handle it. It was so piney. I just, all it felt like this bitterness. There was no nuance to it. But that wasn't the beer, that was me. So that's where the change has come. The beer's the same. These guys have been cranking this out for a while. I have changed. I have learned to appreciate it, and I, I think you have too, and that's why we do this. That's why we talk about beer. That's why I make videos. That's why we post our pictures. We want to share it. We want to share love, and we want to experience it sort of vicariously through each other. So I hope you're enjoying IPA Day, my friends. I know I am. I probably have one more, maybe two in the tank, uh, but then, you know, moderation kicks in and work tomorrow. But uh, cheers to Amsterdam, makers of damn good beer. Over the top hops, bone shaker, baby. God, it's like heaven in a glass, man. Heaven in a glass.